Every time a new Call of Duty is released, there are items that typically carry over into the next game and Warzone. Is that going to be the case for Black Ops 6? Or are they going to do a squad wipe of everyone's operator skins and cosmetics? Let's find out. If you're new here and want more Call of Duty content, hit that subscribe button, it's completely free. This past year, every item from Modern Warfare 2 carried into Modern Warfare 3, making it feel like a very bloated game. Not only were the skins carried forward, but all of the guns and all of the attachments were carried forward as well. This was an interesting decision, and I don't even think I saw a Modern Warfare 2 gun used all year long. For those of us that hated that part, we're in luck. It's been confirmed that Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 content will NOT carry forward into the Black Ops 6 premium multiplayer experience, with the one exception being the Woods Operator pre-order pack that's currently live in Modern Warfare 3. Activision and Treyarch want everything to feel fresh for the release of Black Ops 6, so all of those skins we just spent two years earning and buying are gone. At least for multiplayer. Am I a little salty about the dub XP tokens? Maybe. On the other side of this, Warzone will have carry forward content from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. All of your operator skins, weapons, camos, attachments, weapon blueprints, dub XP tokens, it's all going to be there for you day one of Black Ops 6 in Warzone. However, all of your Warzone stats and level will reset back down to 1 when the Black Ops 6 integration happens. We're also going back to the classic prestige system in Black Ops 6, so all of the rules that apply for the classic prestige system in multiplayer will also apply in Warzone. That means everything will be reset in both Warzone and multiplayer when you prestige. I'll be uploading a video on the prestige system shortly, so stay tuned for that. How are we feeling about this? If I was a developer, here's what I would do. I'm totally fine with the multiplayer being a fresh experience every year. New guns, new operators, new camos, everything is fresh, new, and exciting. I love it. Operator skins, weapon mastery camos, weapon blueprints, and dub XP tokens all carry forward to Warzone. All weapons and attachments from past games should be gone. We don't need to keep using the same weapons every year. Take them out completely, and let's only use the guns that are live in the current Call of Duty annual cycle. Warzone becomes way too bloated. We saw it with Warzone 1. There were three COD games included in that, and it just felt way too bloated and way too busy. I know this will likely never happen, but as long as Warzone is tied to the newest Call of Duty release, I think that would be the best way to handle it going forward. What do you guys think? Are you excited for the fresh start? Or would you rather have everything carry over to the multiplayer side? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, hit that subscribe button.